Guys, what is up? It is finally time to start bailing. Now, right now, I have Farmer Nick and Brett on. What is up, guys? Well, not much. And Farmer Nick, you gotta... Okay, so you were... Were you the guy that was organizing my, my, my place last night? Oh, or yeah. like two nights ago or something? Okay, so he had it all organized. I guess I kind of left it a little messy. But Nick... Or Farmer Nick comes on here. He just organizes the server down real nice. So, we're thinking... Me, Brett, and uh, Nick have been talking, and... We need one more tractor to run this new Holland mower. The reason is, like, the white, for some reason, the front two wheels, it's just got too much weight on the back end, and we can't steer. And then, if you look over here, the Oliver does the same thing. So, those two tractors we can't use. I don't want to use this huge 2 plus 2 International. I think that would be a little too big. And then the 730, oh, man, that might be a little too big, too. So, it's kind of kind of an awkward spot to where we have to buy, I think we're going to have to buy another tractor. That's what's going to have to happen. Most likely, unless we could run the case. I don't know. We're thinking we're thinking we're just going to get another John Deere tractor is what we're going to do. And then, dude, I have so many tractors. We'll be good to go, I'm thinking. Well, dude, literally, we have almost every single brand tractor, it seems like, besides, like, New Holland, Gloss, I guess, Cat. Okay, there's kind of a lot, but we have a lot of brands of tractors. So, uh, Brett, Farmer Nick, what are you guys thinking? I'm thinking I'm going to buy a John Deere 7810 is what I want to get. 7810. So, okay. this will be... A or we could go real. I, I'm thinking I want to buy a 7810. Yes, 7810. Should I yeah. get a front loader attachment for it? I think you got enough loaders personally. Okay. Okay. Yeah, we won't because yeah, we have one on the case over there. Yeah, okay. I was gonna say. Probably I no want to go two wheel drive, but should we go four wheel drive? I guess. I'm I've, almost tempted to say four wheel because you got a couple two wheels now. Yeah, we do have a lot of two wheel, but the last series I had a four wheel drive tractor, and so I'm used to the four wheel drive, and so I want to like switch over to the two wheel drive. But, I don't know, I'm, oh man, like, cause like, I can't change it, like, once I buy it, I can't change it, guys, so, what if, uh, I want to buy, I don't know, maybe we could change the white out, we could trade the white out for a four-wheel drive white, that yeah, wouldn't be, be okay, bad, then. okay, so, I'm gonna go with a two-wheel drive, just cause I, I don't know, I really like the two-wheel drive 7810, it, I just, I really want it, okay, weight rack original pipe, or do I go weight rack, rack chrome pipe, does the chrome look good? Want no, it's like a weird one. I don't look great, honestly. Okay, we'll go. We'll go uh, black or wait, original. Yeah, original. Yeah. There's a hood pipe. Yeah. What's a hood pipe? Oh, it just comes straight out of the hood. Isn't yep. that how they're? Aren't they? Okay, never mind. Okay. Oh, they're so, on the side. Okay, I was wondering. Uh, should we go dual flashers? Does that matter? Yeah, it looks better. <laughs> okay. Okay, we'll go dual yeah. flashers. So there we go. We bought the seventy eight ten. Now, I'm trying to think. There's something we also have to buy. We're going to buy a Wilson Ranch can, guys, because I'm going to purchase this sheep farm over here that Brett's at right over there, and I'm going to purchase those two fields, and then we're going to have sheep because a lot of this hay is going to go to sheep. Eventually, we'll get cows, but for now, we're going to start with sheep. I want to get sheep done. Sheep are easy. I, I want to get those things done. So those animals, those nice, those nice beasts. So um, we're going to – that's kind of a way to, weird way to describe beasts. But anyways – um. <laughs> Okay, the 7810 is... Do one of you guys want to bring that back? The I'm on it. I'm in it. Okay, sweet. And then we're going to have two people running the mowers. One person raking behind. Oh, wait, hold on. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. I got to bring you a rake. I, I'm going to give you a rake is what we're going to okay. do. So, wind rowers. It's going to be the rhino rake. You've used the rhino rake, right? Oh, yeah. But it doesn't... Like, it'll go into the ground sometimes. So, bring back the 7810 and the rhino rake. And then... I'm going to come back. I'm going to run the F350 down and we're going to go pick up or we could take the F150. Ooh. Take the F150. I probably want to use uh, the F350 for a gooseneck, I guess. So, we'll take this PJ and the PJ this tra this trailer is going to be the big bale hauler. Is what we're going to do. So, I got to get this trailer fired up. Hold on. Okay, so I'm parking the PJ here quick. We're going to Okay, we're going to go all the way down here. Oh wait. Oh wait. Okay. Oh. Oh, is it Oh, is it this? Okay, it's this part of the cow barn. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, wait. Oh, okay. I see the door now. Okay, we'll put it in the barn for now. We'll, we'll put the PJ in the barn. Or, you know what? I'm just going to... It'll be easier if I just back it up alongside of the barn. That'll be a little easier. Because we'll, we'll use the PJ soon. It doesn't have to be inside. So, all quick whip her around. And then we'll back her up inside of here. And then we got some mowing to do, boys. Like, I don't know. I don't know if three, if three mowers is going to be good enough. I have no idea. I don't... I don't know. We'll see. We'll see if three mowers is going to be good enough. Otherwise, we're going to have to go to big, like, European style with the two wings on the side and the front mower, I guess. I don't know. We'll, we'll see, I guess. Or we could go uh, to a self-propelled mower. Okay, so there's Farmer Nick coming in with the 7810 over there. Perfect. <laughs> okay, I got to fly down there, and we got to go pick up. I'm going to go pick up that trailer quick. I'll get out of your way. 
Oh, the 7010, she's looking good. I gotta take a wide turn because I hate this ray because it doesn't make, allow you to turn sharp. Yeah, I know. One I know. Thing I hate about it. Yeah, that's one. Yeah, I, I noticed. I noticed that. Okay, so dude. Where do you I'm, want this rake dropped? Um, put it. Okay, what tractor do you guys think we could run on the rake? First of all, I want to uh, run I'd, the 730, but like, dude, that's probably too. Uh, that's probably too handle that rake. Yeah, the white, the white or the Oliver would be good. Yeah, the white, the white would be a good tractor. I feel like we'll run the white on that thing. Oh boy, oh boy, guys, I'm spinning out. I'm going over. Okay, so. There we go. Um, I'm kind of flying down here. Dane, we're going quick. Okay, so I'm going to go pick up this cattle trailer quick, and we'll bring her back. And then, okay, if you guys want to get started, you guys can get started mowing right now if you guys really want to. So right. hook the 7810 up to a mower, and then hook up the, oh, well, I guess the 1066 is already hooked up. And then just start mowing, how about field 35? Because 35 is grass, I think. Yeah, we'll start on field 35. So that's the one to the right of the driveway when you're pulling. Yep. Pulling out over there. Oh, boy. We went past. Oh, wait. Dude, why do I have two trucks? Oh, man. I must have accidentally ordered two trucks. It's kind of weird. Okay, I got to sell one of these trucks soon. Oh, boy. And then I got to get the money situated all nice and stuff. So, Wilson Ranch Hand, wherever this thing is. We'll go in. Uh, oh, no. It's in Animals. That's right. Animals. There we go. Oh, wait. Did I not put this thing in here? Maybe it's a miscellaneous. It could be a miscellaneous. There we go. Wilson Ranch Hand. Perfect. Okay, we'll pick this thing up. Dude, it matches the... I wish it was all, like, chrome aluminum, I should say, not painted. Like, It does match a truck, though. That's kind of nice about that, I guess. Roll back up, and... Do I have manual attach? Yes, I do. That's right. Okay. We will hook her up, and then it's time to hit the, hit the road, boys. We're going to head back. Oh, wait. Where do we pick up livestock? I guess we'll just get livestock later. It's fine, I guess. Or where... I honestly don't know on this map. Let's see. Barn... Man, okay, I don't know. Does anybody know? Okay, somebody's got to know because you guys, uh, if anybody knows, put them down in the comment oh, section. Found it. Oh, uh, where's that? It's over by, I'm standing at it right now. Oh, okay. Little, it's over here. I Okay, I'm, okay, it's good to know where it's at, but I'm not, I don't think I'm going to pick up livestock just yet just because we don't have hay all the way done stuff and I don't have water trailer, I don't have all that. So eventually we'll, I'm thinking we'll pick up some livestock soon. There we go for the sheep farm. And so I'll buy the sheep farm. I'll own the sheep farm. So we're going to actually kind of own quite a bit of farms, guys. Man, we're, yeah, dude, this is going to, we're going to own, yeah, dude. Okay, so we got, let's see. It's not, and it's not, what's nice is it's not too far away from our main farm. Oh, it's kind of a ways, I guess. There's no good road to it. Oh. All right, do you want to go all oh, the way shoot. around this thing like three or four times? Yeah, we can do that. Okay, yeah. so, so are you guys just going to follow each other around the field then? Yep. Okay, perfect. There we go, and then I'm gonna come through with the rake most likely. Yeah, I'll come through with the rake, and then we'll sw we'll switch around a little bit too. So hopefully we can get this thing knocked out. It's just gonna be so much mowing and stuff. We're gonna at least need a f ten minutes for you to have enough for to you to keep up to us. Really? You think so? Yeah, cause okay, we're going I'll, around in it right now. Well, okay, I'll start raking right behind you guys, and then I'll start, uh, and then I'll bail too. So that way it'll keep you guys some more time. Yeah, okay. There we go. And then I'm coming up through the driveway. Oh boy, it's dude. It's some of these roads are tight. Like they are not, uh, they're not too wide of roads. And then okay, so has anybody have have either one of you guys used this baler, the John Deere 568? I think it is. I use it all the time. It makes big bales, right? Yep. Yes, that's what I've been capacity. wanting. Okay, awesome. Uh, wait, do I have to stop every time though? I just, yep. Oh darn. Okay. Don't but, worry, I'll run the baler. Oh, okay, I I can, I can run it a little too, but okay, that's nice that we have uh, that it holds a lot of. I guess it, you know what, if it makes huge bales, it's okay to stop. I guess if, yeah. it's, if you're not stopping all the time. There's a weird texture to it when it's like full. You'll see. Oh really? Okay, and the bales look different, right? Yep. Okay, they sweet. They look really good. Yeah. Okay, so I was trying to figure this out forever, like how to get the big bales. I've always seen one like Facebook posts, and I was like, I yep. want those big bales. I want those big bales, and then boom. Finally, we got the baler that makes the big bales. I thought it was like some mod you had to download that nope. made big bales or something. It came out. Hey, uh, Sly, can you use the baler, please? Oh, the baler? Yep. Just test her out? No, like move it out of the way. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry, I thought you said could you. Okay, yeah, I'll, I'll jump in and remove her quick. There we go. Okay, I put the ranch in. We'll just leave that 350 connected. I'm coming around. I'm sprinting, boy. I'm running as fast as I can. Come on. 
There we go. How's the 7810? <laughs> that tractor looks pretty sweet. And then it is. There we it's go. Pretty and, cool setup. And then Brett is Brett. You run the 1066, right? Yep. Oh, nice. There we go. Okay, so those guys are just going around there. I'm gonna put the baler. Um, we'll just put the baler over here. I want to run this MX. Okay, so I don't know. I guess I didn't get a chance to fully look at the comment section on what we all wanted for this the size of uh, MX. I'm, I'm thinking keeping out MX-135, but I want to see the comment section, see the reasons why people want it bigger, like a 150 or a one sm or a smaller, I guess. So I'll, I'll wait to see those. Okay, and then for now, I guess we could put it... For now, I'll just back the pillar into the shop right here, just so she's ready to go. There we go. We'll just throw her right in here. And then that way... There we go. And so, Nick, you're from Canada, right? Yep. Dang. Ontario. What do you guys... You guys farm corn and beans and stuff? Yeah, I got a YouTube channel if you want to go check that out too. Uh, Dang, I've I have seen, a lot I've more uh, videos of farming and stuff up there. I'll I got a GoPro coming tomorrow. Dane, I'll throw you. I'll throw your link down in the description. I've seen like your first four episodes of your real life farming and stuff. Yep. Yeah, we farm. Uh, right now we're about ready to take off wheat. Hopefully tomorrow it'll go. Ooh, okay. okay. It's at fifteen percent moisture still, so it's got to be fourteen or else to dock us for drying. But oh yeah. I'm hoping it dries down enough tomorrow I can make a video with my new GoPro if I get here in time. Dang, that'd be sweet. Okay, so yeah, I'm... Do... Oh, good. So we do wheat, soybeans, and corn, and we do oats and stuff like that. Ooh, nice, nice. You got a wide variety. You're, you're harvesting, like, all year round almost. Probably not all year round, but... Not year all around. Through the summer, at least. We just finished uh, up with baling, like, 2,000 square bales, like, small. Dang. Dang. Okay. I got the white. Now, the white, dude, this is a loud tractor. So, every time I jump in it, I have to lower my volume of the game just because it's so loud. So, we'll hook her up to the Rhino. The whites are on the Rhino. And I kind of want to wash off the white just because she's a little dirty from, uh, from playing. I would have washed everything up, but you didn't have a pressure washer. Oh, yeah, that's right. I just Okay, so, in case you need one, I just put one right over here, by the way. Yeah, I've seen that. There we go. Oh, wait, when where did you say those gravity wagons were, by the way? You said you put them somewhere. Here, I'll zip over here and show you. Okay. There we go. White is getting clean. I probably shouldn't be running the tractor as I wash it. Uh, I guess it doesn't really matter that much, but it wouldn't be the first time I wash some tractors like that when they're running to just get the oil hot enough to so we can dump it. Oh like, yeah. The oil. Okay. Oh, you put Ready? them in here. Oh Ready? shoot! I didn't even Ready? know. I didn't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. Oh, nice. He backed him in all nice and stuff. Sweet. There I we go. With the uh, John Deere. Oh, the 730. Oh, yeah, that's a good tractor to move them with. Okay, yeah, that'll be yeah. basically our moving tractor. Okay, so these are all locked in here real nice. I'm going to see what the prices are because it might not be a bad idea to sell some right now, guys. Decent. I, I guess I haven't seen... We'll see. Usually early summer... Usually early summer is really good prices for... for uh, just in farming somewhere, I should say. Yeah. Um, it's usually really good prices. So we will close that baby up and then... Do I have time to run the rake just yet, or we gotta wait a little bit? I'd wait a little bit yet. Okay. We've only got been around this field at least four times. Brett's on the fourth pass. I'm on the third. Oh my gosh, dude. Okay. Are you guys? Do we think we're gonna need bigger equipment, or? Nah, let's stay realistic. These are more fun. Okay. Oh yeah. I was gonna say they're fun, they're fun to use. There we go. He's around the 7010, and then here Brett comes with 1066. How fast are you guys going? I'm running 13 mile an hour. Uh, Same. Okay, you guys are both around 13. Okay, there we go. <laughs> nice. Okay, yeah, because the rhino rake is just so wide. Okay, I'll, I'll let you guys get a little further ahead. Um, What I'm thinking about doing now, I guess, is... So the F-350, let's see. Once I make the bales, is, is everything ready, I should say? The baler is pretty much ready. The rake is ready. Rake's ready, definitely ready to go. And then what else... Okay, we're yeah, we're going to go. run for a combine. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess a good a good question. Good question. So, I don't know, guys. I don't know what we're going to run for combines yet. Um, we could run a John Deere. We could that'll be like a decision right when harvest rolls around. I usually go out and buy a combine. So, we'll have to see. I I, I don't know. We could run the we could run John Deere. I'm I'm thinking maybe John Deere just cuz we don't have much John Deere, but we'll see, I guess. We do kind of need fuel on this white. She's running a little low. <laughs> okay, let's unfold this thing and see how wide, see how many rows we can actually get. Okay, so Nick, his comp er, he kind of lagged out. So right now, I got to take his job 
And we're going to jump in the 7810 and keep mowing. Oh, dude. Oh, he definitely lagged out. He crashed her into a tree. Oh, man. Okay. We are going to bring you right, right when he was, I don't know if he laughed or not, but right when he laughed, I was like, yeah, I'm going to jump in uh, your tractor and keep mowing. He's like, don't break it. Right as he crashed in into a tree after he lagged out. But no, he he couldn't, he, there's no way he could control that. He just lagged out. But, uh, okay, so Brett, oh, there we go. Brett's right up there. And then I am just going right along here. And, okay, Brett, are we just going to keep going around and around? Or do you want to go, we could start going back and forth eventually. I know a lot of people when they cut hay, they just go, they just go around and around, guys. But I'm thinking, I don't know, we'll see. We'll see, I guess. We could go back and forth. I think that would be good to go back and forth, too. Oh, man, I just missed oh, the grass right there. Okay, we got to back up. There we go. I got to just get this little stuff right here that I missed. There we go. Now we got her. Okay, so eventually, ah, oh, we could go back and forth. I don't know. I can't tell. We could go around and around or back and forth. I don't know. Oh, it's, it's a tough decision, I guess. It's probably easier if we just go around and around, I guess. We'll just go around and around. That, that way it'll, it'll work good so i because i think that that's how most farmers do i guess i'm not involved in hay operations much but i, th I think that's how most farmers do it they just go around and around the field so uh I, i'll just follow bread around and around the field there we go he's making a turn over there and then i am just coming along we're gonna catch you oh yeah we're gonna catch you there we go okay <laughs> We're right behind him. And I think... Okay, so these, these mowers are made to make the turns, like, really good, I'm pretty sure. We'll see. But, yeah, look at that. Look how quick we can turn. Okay, I kind of go into the new grass, but, yeah, they can turn. They can turn sharp. There we go. And now we'll keep going over here. And... There we go. Oh, wait, is this lowered to the ground all the way? Oh, yes, it is. It definitely is lowered to the ground all the way. Okay. So, we're on the 70 10 It's kind of cool. We're on two-wheel drive. I mean, I guess... I was going to get four-wheel drive. Four-wheel drive might have been a little better. Or, sorry, front-wheel assist might have been a little better than two-wheel drive. But I like, I, I like changing it up because I, I really ran a front-wheel assist 7010 the whole time last series. So I was like, hey, let's get a two-wheel drive this series. Even though, dude, look how look how wide the two-wheel drive is out here. That thing is wide. Okay, oh, boy, we got to make the turn. Oh, there he goes. Okay, Brett's, Brett's making the turn right there. Nice. And then I'll come. Oh, boy. There we go. I'll come around here. And, uh, okay, sweet. Now I'm following Brett through here. There we go. We got a nice little team going. Actually, we're going to get this knocked out pretty quick. We're getting here done, especially when you're doing the outside rows. Once you get doing a couple rows, man, this this thing just flies by. Uh, but anyways, guys, I'm just going to time lapse this all right now just because I think it would be a sweet time lapse. Um, okay guys, so we just got done mowing now. I'm gonna put for now We'll just put the mowers away because we're yeah We'll just put them away in the shed for now um, And then I'm gonna get out the baler and it's time to well first of all um, Farmer Nick up there. He's gonna be raking and I'm gonna be bailing behind him and they're actually Brett's gonna be raking and then I'm gonna be Bailing behind Brett and then Nick's gonna come in through with a loader and just start stacking bales on the trailer And eventually we'll move him over to the sheep farm. That's what's gonna be happening You know what I need guys is I need that gooseneck trailer is what I need for that uh, the bale like the actual bale bale carrier trailer is what I should get instead of just a flatbed that'd be kind of cool I feel like but uh, okay for now I'm just gonna back in seven eight ten we'll just leave her connected it'll be fine and then now I need the baler oh yeah it's in the shop okay finally for the first time we're on the MX one thirty five it's just a little tractor but we'll get the job done I'm thinking it might not be a bad idea to go to one fifty I think that would be a pretty good idea guys and actually I gotta upgrade the sound or like uh sorry increase the sound just because whenever i use the white i always have to decrease the sound there we go now we can hear this mx 135 okay i'm uh, dude i'm so excited to actually make real bales oh man here we go it is time boys it is time there goes nick he just <laughs> he's just raking away and so i'm gonna oh boy here we go okay so turn on baler lower pickup there i'm gonna we go. guess over here <laughs> you need gas 
No, I'm gonna guess. Oh, okay. I don't have GPS. I'm gonna aim for that hydro pool. Let's see what my line is. You got her, man. I mean, you're pretty good at this. Okay, so it's gonna be wide on load, right? I think it's gonna be wide on load. Yep. Okay, sweet. Oh, dude, the animations on this bailer are good too. I like it. But wait till you get like just about 80% and look around behind and you'll tell me, you'll see what I'm talking about. Oh, the animations behind it? Okay, so I'm at 100%. Yeah, there it is right there. <laughs> we'll unload like, the bailer. Around. Like, turn around and look at the bailer in the cab. Oh. Yeah. Oh, I didn't see it. Okay, I gotta, I gotta look at it next time. I did, for some reason, I didn't see it that time. Okay. Now, we'll lower... Oh, is it wide or lower? Yeah, wide or lower, and then we're gonna just keep going. There we go. <laughs> okay, yeah, I'll look at the animations next time. Um, okay, so now, how do I go back and forth? Okay, we'll go back, uh, through this way. Dang, dude, we are gonna have so much, too. Dang. I don't think you're gonna need the other field, honestly. Yeah, I, pr I probably don't. This field is definitely good enough for the sheep, but... <laughs> whatever, we already st we already have grass planted. I guess we could... Can we do anything else with the grass? I mean, the grass on the other field? No, because, uh, it's gonna turn into nothing after seasons. You speed up time enough. Okay. Maybe it'll just disappear, so you so have to make it into hay. Yeah, we, okay, we might as well bail it then. Okay, it makes sense. Okay, I'm gonna get unloading this baby. Now, it's kinda, it kinda sucks that you gotta, like, stop and unload them, but it does create... Oh, dude, there's, like, a miniature bale inside of that bale. Oh, huh. when it, like, pushed it out. Like, you can see a little miniature guy in there. Uh, but anyways. Oh, wait, are we bailing? Yeah, we're bailing. Okay, there we go. The 135, the case. I thought this would be a good tractor for it, too. Okay, maybe, you know what? Yeah, so that way I can make my turns better. I'm just going to skip one every time. That'll be yeah. a little better. There we go. Okay, how much is, are in these bales again? How many, 800. I guess... 800. 800 uh, liters? Or whatever or, it is, yeah. Oh, okay. Um. Oh, I see. It's almost... Okay, so we're almost... 0.3 tons. So 0.3 of... So that's 600. I, okay, I, the, the, that wouldn't make sense. 0.3 of one ton would be 600 pounds, and def, these bales are definitely way more than 600 pounds. So I don't, I don't know why it says point. Or actually, yeah, that's weird. I don't know. I guess I don't know how much these uh, weigh. Usually, I think round bales weigh like, you know, holy crap, Nick, man, what are you doing, boy? Driving over in the front. Other, oh boy, oh dang. <laughs> You're taking out the other uh, farmer's crops over there. Oh yep. man. Okay, there we go. We got the okay. Anyways, we're going up here. What's nice is that now I have it nice, so we can we can swing real wide. That's gonna be cool. Okay. Um, hundred percent. Back her up. There we go. Start unloading this baby. And if you if you listen hard enough, I think there's like a noise that kind of beeps at you when it's yeah. like an eighty or something. Yeah, I can hear it. But can you unload it before a hundred percent? Nope. Oh, okay. Unfortunately, I, was gonna like, say. I wish they made a bailer that you could automatic pick the size, like. Yeah, that'd be nice. When you ran out of the end of the field, that like would be nice. Bail. Oh yeah, I, I can hear hissing at me right now. They'll probably have that 19, maybe. Ooh, that'd be sweet. Okay, so we already got these bales loaded up. Now, Brett, you can run. The trailer has an automatic bale picker upper if you want, or you can use a loader. Either or. It's kind of nice how it works. Um, you got to get like the perfect size of bale, and you got to have the ramps unloaded all the way for it to work properly. I think. And then just it just loads up on the left side over there. Dude, you're pushing hay into the roadway over there. Oh wait, oh man, we've been full forever. Oh my gosh. I do, oh, I see the animation you're talking about too. But man, dude, we okay. Darn, we've been full forever. Shoot, I just totally forgot because I heard the beeping noise and I was like, oh, we're done. I just kept going, I guess. Hey, I made a straight row. <laughs> oh, there we go. He's got one right through there. Okay. So I'll, I'll have to go up and finish that row again. But, dude, we are going to have so much hay. This is going to be insane. Oh, boy. I want to get that F350 load down with all this hay. That would be nice. There we go. Brett, I can come over there and uh, help you out and get that trailer. Hopefully, so we can get that trailer working. I think it unloads from the left side just like you have it. Uh, you just got to make the settings perfect so it gets those... Those type of bales. What's gonna happen? If you want, Brett, you can run the baler, and I'll try to get that. I'll try to get that truck working for you over there. Or the. Oh, dude, you lagged out again. Yep. It was going good too. I know it does this. Dang. Dude, I like this baler though. It's good. It's good. Okay, so Brett, 
here's the case if you want to start bailing. It's just wide unload, and I'll see if I can't get that trailer uh, working a little better. I know it's, dude. It was. It took me forever to finally get. It's just you gotta. I don't even know what size of bales these are too, but we'll try her up here. I don't know if there's a mod flicked in it or whatever because I know it's only just your server too. Oh yeah, where you? Uh, I know. Do you want me to come back? Nah, you're good. You're good. I'm, we're almost done. Okay, these round bales. Is it HD bales? Nick, do you know what kind of bales these are by any chance? I'll have to look. Uh, like, what are you talking? What do you mean? Like? Okay, so it gives me on this trailer. This has like an automatic low trailer, and it gives me round bales. I one... think it comes up at maybe pallets. I oh. think I've heard of. Oh, okay. Try that. I think I've heard someone say that. I don't. I thought I already. I thought I unloaded on the left, but I'm gonna go try. Oh, come back Here, on. I'll check. Okay. Yeah. I want to figure this out. If anyone knows, let us know why it's doing this. Like, I think it's like pallets or what could it else is it? Okay, here we go. I'll try pallets. That um, Okay, it's all the way down, so it should be ready okay now i'll try square bales it's probably not square bales i'll try standard round bales i think it always unloads to the left side try the other side maybe just for the okay sake of yeah it. let me go through all these though it could i'm thinking it's hd bales oh okay okay i'll try the other side so here's hd bales pallets square bales anything Round bale standard. I don't think it's a standard round bales. Is it 1.4 meter? I don't think it's 1.4 meter. 1.5 meter and HD bales. Darn, man. For some reason, yeah, for some reason these bales won't load up. Yeah, Darn. I went through all of them. It doesn't work for some reason. Yeah. Okay, so I'll, I'll message the creator of this trailer and see. Or if anybody knows, if you guys can get these bales loaded up. If anybody knows, that'd be awesome. Just We could just do auto load. So auto load works great. Yeah, so if anybody knows it, like what it is or how to get these loaded up, let me know. Always, I'll try to get in contact with somebody uh, to get her done. But anyways, guys, I'll go grab the loader. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You'll grab the loader. Perfect. This is gonna be the end of episode number five. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy it. We're getting all the work done. There goes Brett with the bailer on loading that baby. There goes Nick with uh, the rake, and we're just getting it all done. Just getting all the bail. The bail's made for the sheep. So if you guys did enjoy it, smash that like button, boys, and I will see you guys later. Thanks for watching, guys.